Tracy Beaker. I bet you're all desperate to hear about her holiday with Cam, aren't you? Dear losers, Egypt is great. Cam and I are having a fantastic time. Wish we were all here. Well, uh, maybe not all of you. See you soon. Is it nice of Tracy to write? Children haven't listened to a word I've said. There are studies that indicate that watching too much violence on TV can lead to aggressive behaviour. I'd say they're more comatose than aggressive. Just blink if you're there. No. Oh, you're right, Elaine. That was a very violent blink. As long as I'm acting head care worker, I'm going to dedicate myself to helping these children to learn to play again. Did someone just say something? Come on, lads. Like cement, Mike. Mike, have you just finished breakfast? It's almost lunchtime. Nobody ate breakfast. When Duke gets back from the Caribbean, you can all register your complaints, all right? We'll be too weak for malnutrition by then. Hold on, what's all this? I asked for easy stuff, you know, fish fingers, frozen peas. It's important that children have balanced meals. Duke's recipes. I'm only supposed to be helping out here. I never said I could cook. I can do that. <laughs> Can't be that hard. Mike, when you pick up a saucepan, Grown carrots tremble. Save yourselves! is not going to clean itself. The Duke always had the cleaning done by now. Well, good old Duke. Do I smell burning? Oh, no! Well, what do you think? Is it a TARDIS? It's a Wendy house. It's a pretend TV. It's not a TV. Forget about TV. It's... It's a puppet theatre. Now, we're going to make puppets and put on a show and tell happy stories now. Won't that be fun? We're care kids, Elaine. We don't know any happy stories. Nonsense. This place is full of happy stories. There's, um, Tracy Beaker settling in with Cam, last, and, um, uh, Hayley finding the perfect foster parents, and, um, Justine Littlewood and her dad living happily ever after. Dad! Carrie, I've made us all dinner to celebrate! Can you believe it's exactly two years today since I left the dumping van? Oh, we're going out. Cool, I'll go and get ready. Uh, sorry. We forgot to tell you. Carrie and I have to go out tonight. What? Where are you going? Sorry to let you down, Liv. Great. It's like chocolate pudding for one, then. Let's face it. You're no Jamie Oliver, are you?
Harry! Are you home? Why are you so late? Pardon? What does the clock say? Um, tick tock? It's not funny. I've been worried sick. And you left me on my own with a baby all night. It's only 11. And we had some important things to talk about. Yeah, well, you could have at least called. <sighs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. I, I'll, I'll make it up to you. You need to tell her. I'm not putting my hands in that. You have to. We've got to finish our puppets so that we can tell our stories this afternoon. Oh, it's boring. It's fun. We can make puppets of everyone here. Hi, I'm Mike. Top of the morning to you, me old Colleen. Shall I make a puppet of Marco? That's the idea. See? What, you said she could make a puppet of him? Marco! Right, no, that is enough! Stop it! Find my puppet! Find my puppet! Right, now. Come on, chop, chop! Hurry up and get yourselves cleaned up and then we can start making those puppets. We don't want to make stupid puppets. You can't force us. Well, there'll be no telly until you do. <clears throat> May I present cookies a la Mike? Mmm, these are nice. They are? Yes, they are. Um, come on, everyone, let's eat these downstairs. Who's the chef? I'm the chef. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Put these in the kitchen, love. I need to change his nappy. Sorry to let you down, love. I'll make it up to you. Stella. Trixie? Maybe Maisie. Tinkerbell. Perfect. Tinkerbell! You're more of a tinker. Oh well, you'll do. Justine. Oh, thanks, Dad. This is the best surprise ever. I've always wanted a dog. Oh, you get off him. He's mine, not yours. His name's Bruce, and he doesn't like girls. And who are you exactly? Justine, uh, this is your cousin John. He's come to live with us. We finished our puppets, Elaine. Well done, everyone. Now can we have our TV back? I said forget about TV. This is very exciting. Who's first? <clears throat> Hi, I'm Crash. We're all doomed. Uh, Chantal, isn't that a biscuit? And it's durable and unbreakable, and it doesn't make a mess. Oh, <laughs> very inventive. Hi. I'm Justine Littlewood. And I'm Justine's dad. Hi, I'm Tracy Beaker. Excellent. I, I, think, I think we need to make them a little bit more lifelike. What? Do you mean like mine? Who did you make, Roxy? Hi, I'm Elaine. <laughs> but why does he have to live with us? Well, he's been having a tough time recently. I couldn't just turn him away, could I? I knew you'd understand. Come on, come and say hello. And afterwards, I'll help you move your stuff, if you like. Move what stuff where? I'll move your stuff into Billy's room. What? Why? Well, I can't ask John to sleep on the couch, can I? Why can't he sleep in Billy's room? Oh, no, I don't want his dog in with Billy. It wouldn't be good for him. 
Oh, that's just great. As long as Billy, John and his manky dog are happy, that's fine. As usual, don't worry about Justine. She just gets shoved to the bottom of the pile again. Ground. Justine, I really don't want you to go. Well, then tell him he can't stay here. What's going on? Tell him it's unfair for dog breath to chuck me out of my room. Justine, it's your dad's decision. Great. So no one cares about me anymore? Justine, listen to me. I made a real mess of my life when your mother... and you ended up in care because of it. I can't let the kid down. He's family. So am I. So what's it going to be then? Me or him? Oh, Justin, please don't do this. Hello? It's Justine. I'm coming back. What, what, what do you mean you're coming back? Justine! Just, Justine! I love my job. Not oh, really. All this and Justine Littlewood. Welcome everybody to Elm Tree House. And then for the last time, will you stop fussing about Shh, these puppies? The puppet? show's about to stop. This is the tale of Justine Littlewood. Oi, they're my biscuits! I'm Justine Littlewood and I hate Tracy Beaker. I'm Tracy Beaker, so you can bug off. Uh, <laughs> no violence. I hate the dumping ground. I just want to go home. Hi, I'm Steve, Justine's dad. Are you ready to come home with me? Yes, please. And they all live happily ever after. The end. Now, now can we, we watch, watch TV? TV? Oh, wonderful. I just love happy endings. Justine, there's something you need to know. Save it, Mike. I've heard it all before. Just tell me where my room is. Upstairs, second on the left. Justine. My name's Rebecca Chalmers. Not Becky or Bex. Not Rebs or Rebby. Rebecca. Okay. What? I think you should know I'm not happy about sharing my room with you. But as long as you're tidy and don't snore, I'm prepared to try and put up with you. Tracy, we're here to see this. Who we'll needs Beaker? Justine Littlewood's back. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're not done yet. Stay tuned. You've got my perfume and I can smell it. Take a chill pill, Justine. I only use like three tiny little drops. My dad bought me that for special occasions. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure your diary's jam-packed. What are you doing this week? Two at Buckingham Palace? Or is it ice and a slice with Peter and Jordan? Just keep your hands off my stuff, all right, Bex? I told you it's Rebecca. You know, if you married David Beckham, you'd be Bex and Bex. Yeah, well, if I ever did meet David Beckham, I wouldn't wear that. Now I know why they call it toilet water. Right, time for some rules. My side, my door. Your side, your door. Do not cross this line. What? Alright, Wolfie. Great. You ready? I made three types of sandwiches. Ham and pickle, cheese and pickle, and chicken with a slight hint of pickle. Oh, 
Don't tell me you don't like Pickle. Bouncer just called, yeah. He wants me to go meet him. What now? Look, I would have told him I was busy, but I haven't seen him since he went to the halfway house. It's all right. I understand. You still going fishing? Yeah, I need to get out of here for a while. Is it? Uh, I swear I just saw something move in there. Mm. It's mystery stew. What's in it? Well, uh, that's the mystery. <laughs> I think it looks interesting. Okay, okay, I get the message. I'll go order some pizza. Order some cooking lessons while you're at it. Watch mm. it. Uh, now, listen, everybody. Lol's just come back from seeing Bouncer, and he might be a bit ups. So. Try not to mention it. Just that normal. Hello, Lol. Did you notice how warm it was this morning? Yeah. It wasn't bad. And then it got colder. And then it got warmer again. Thank you, Michael Fish. Hello, how to bounce her? She's doing great, Layla. Thanks for asking. Look, he's doing really well on his own. He's doing better than I thought he would. Right. Who's got my Maroon 5 CD? It's gone missing. Well? Can I come in? You're going to whatever I say. You wanted dinner? You didn't need to hide. I, I ordered pizza. I had a big lunch. Twelve sandwiches with pickling. Takes some getting through. Mm. Why don't you come downstairs to the lounge? Everyone's watching TV. No, I don't want to. Come on, Wolfie. You have to try and fit in. I've been trying to fit in, but people around here have better things to do than hang out with me. I'm sure that's not true. What do you know? I hate this place. It makes me feel trapped. <laughs> mucking around. Don't worry, Layla, I'll get to the bottom of this. I'm not even going to ask. Hey, what have you come as today, Marco? I've run out of space to keep all my costumes. Don't know where to put them. Here's an idea, freak boy. Check them all out and join the human race. That's funny. Um, the, the frying pan's not there. And um, what's happened to all the aprons? Someone's taken my lucky rugby socks. They'll be easy to find to follow the pong. All right, come on, guys. What's going on here, huh? We've got a mystery thief, and I've got a very clear idea of what he looks like. OK, right. Enough's enough. Now somebody's taken Layla's Marie Antoinette doll with the detachable head. How do you know one of us did it? Because. No burglar is going to break in and steal a frying pan and a plastic doll. Right, who's got my silver locket? It was a present for my dad. This just got serious. Well? Does anyone have anything to say? Huh? Fine. If 
these items are not returned, then we're going to have to call the police. <coughs> Rebecca, that scheming little witch. Lol, bouncer's on the phone. Excellent. Hey, Wolfie. How you doing? Look, just stop bugging me, will you? Rebecca, what a surprise. Justine, um, I, I hope you don't mind, but with all this stuff going missing, we're searching everybody's rooms, and uh, Rebecca suggested we start in here. She's so community-minded, isn't she? You don't mind, then? Why should I? Nothing in here. What? There has to be. Rebecca's turn now. Either. Oops, clumsy me. Rebecca! I knew you had behavioural problems, but I didn't have you down as a thief. This is a stitch up. It's obvious that Justine planted this. Why? Because I put the stuff in. Honestly, you two. When are you going to grow up and learn to get along? I want to see both of you in my office first thing. Now, where's the rest of the stuff? Mike's apron? Rio CD, Layla's photo? I don't know. This is all I... was aware of. Honest. Great. So we've still got a thief at large. What are you doing? Lol? 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 Gotcha! I was sleepwalking. Go get Mike. Lol. Yay! My favourite picture bounced on me. Sorry, everyone. Don't worry. I suppose you can't help being bonkers. Thanks. That makes me feel so much better. But why take all this stuff? I don't know. It's not like I'd want any of it. Yeah, and they're all Bouncer's favourites. Marco! That's it! You're a genius! Mm, I know. I am. Lol, you've obviously been missing Bouncer, so you've subconsciously filled your room with all of Bouncer's favourite stuff. So Rio's right. I am bonkers. No, no, no. It's a natural reaction. You just need some time to adjust. Right, everybody, bed now. Come on, sleepyhead. See you then. Boy! You scared the life out of me. What are you doing? You can't run away. Why not? No one will miss me. I will. 
Look, I'm obviously not handling this as well as I thought. I need a mate to look out for me. A mate? Yeah, you. A mate? None's ever called me that before. I'm more fool them. So what do you reckon? Do you fancy sharing a room with me? Well, I suppose I'll have to. Someone's got to stop you going on the rob every night. Mate. Nice one. So, Wolfie's moving in with Lol. Yeah, and the news that there's a spare room up for grabs is out. So, I expect we'll have a couple of visitors any second now. After you, Rebecca. No, you first. I insist. We heard that Wolfie's moving out of his room, and I was wondering if it would be possible if Rebecca could move her stuff out now. Or should I ask Justine to move her stuff out now? No. Your stuff. No. Your stuff. Nobody's moving any stuff. What? what? Neither of you are getting the single room after the way you've acted. You don't deserve it. That is so unfair! Well, if I'm not getting it, who is? This room's brilliant. I've got plenty of space to put on my costumes. Thanks, Elaine. Thanks, Mike. You're more than welcome, Marco. This is your fault, you loser. No. You're the loser. What did you just say to me? You heard loser. I'm not a loser. Yes, you are, Becky. It's Rebecca. Whatever. I can make my world come true. My world.